and welcome to Buckman's Model Mania. Today we're going to be working on the Moomin House, stage 37 from Diagostini. What we've got obvious from the parts is the floor. Second piece of the first floor. Actually, it's not the floor, sorry. It is the ceiling and the bathtub. So let me go ahead and get the book open and we will start working on this piece or on this pack. So like I said, we've got the ceiling panel, and this actually, you can see it comes in two packs that will be in the uh, box when you, if you order this, it comes in the box in two packs. So always check and make sure, especially if you have a pack that says, like this one does, 37A, make sure you have 37B. First thing they're having us do is take this ceiling piece and this ceiling piece and joining them together here like we've done before. Let's see. It's not wanting to go together easily. It's kind of sticking. I think this is the edge. Not seeing where it's. Oh, that's that's terrible. I think I found where the issue is. It's right there. It's gone now. A little piece of wood broke out of there. Fortunately, interesting. Now this end side doesn't want to fit. But fortunately, that will be covered up by the ceiling, the beams in the ceiling, actually. And that's just, it's, what it looks like is this piece that I just got is warped. Let me see if I can get these back apart. Yeah, not sure if you can see that. That one's a little bit warped too, but this one, is pretty warped. I mean, how's that for warped? I'm pushing down on this side, and that's how much warped it is. I'm not gonna sweat it, sweat it. I can get around it. This one, not so much. It does eh, maybe a little bit warp on the back side, but again, nothing that I can't get around, especially when a Q-tip won't. So, let me step away for a second, get some clamps, and uh, we'll glue this thing together. Okay, I usually will use the spring clamps, the small spring clamps. A lot of people have them, they're red or they're black. But because this has a warpage issue, I want these ends to be as perfect as I can. I mean, it, in the long run, it's not going to be that big a deal. But... It's just me. I want it to be right. Matter of fact, instead of these C clamps, let me pause, pause again and get some decent clamps for this. Okay, not that those these are not decent clamps, but I have some actual woodworking clamps that I think will work a lot better. It says use masking tape, blah, 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 blah. Okay, masking tape is not going to straighten this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some wood, I mean wood, add some wood glue along here, all the way along the clamp, or along the clamp, along the seam. And then I'm going to get these pushed together almost to the best of my ability without smearing too much glue everywhere. Nice crack every time I touch this. So we're going to take the first one. This These parts are just not quite lining up worth darn. Wanted to use a different word there. This is going to entail some little bit of extra work later on. 
Okay, that's got that one there. I'm going to go ahead and clamp the other side here. And I'm going to try and get four clamps on here, plus that big one. Hopefully it, it will work out. It's kind of funny because this piece is a little wider than the other pieces. So let's see, that's not long enough. Let's see, are we going to be able to, no, we're not going to be able to do anything there. Some, I do know that this monster clamp here, get it most of the way closed, should be able to get to at least part of the seam here. So I'm going to just let these clamps do their thing relatively flat. Might have to do a little sanding here and there. But this should work, and I'm going to have to let this sit for a couple of hours, so I will stain it in a subsequent video. Well, I'll stain it, and then I'll stitch those videos together. But for right now, I'm going to set this aside, and we're going to press on with the rest. And what it does say for you to do, you're supposed to stain it with dark brown paint, 10 parts water. It's what I did with the uh, first floor, the ground or the ground floor, or no, wait, not the ground floor. Sorry, that's what I did for the that, that's what I did for the ground floor on the floor. What I did for the first floor ceiling was instead, I I mixed it up. I mixed it darker than I meant to, but after working with this stuff on the uh, on the cabinet. When I built this cabinet, this is about the same color as the uh, ceiling on the on the uh, ground floor. So I'm going to use this walnut stain instead. Actually, I may use actual walnut stain just to look and see how it looks. I can do that on the back side to see if it's going to be as dark. But the key thing is, I'm going to try and make the floors match a little, match as much as I possibly can. So since we're done on that for right now, let's go ahead and move on to this bathtub. And the bathtub has claw feet. Did they? Yes, they did. They, um, they put the, oh no, they didn't. Tell me again. I thought those that it had pins going in. Instead of having the feet connect somewhere where you're never going to see it. They have, they are connecting at the floor. So that's going to entail a little bit of sanding, which hopefully won't discolor the plastic too much. Maybe I can get a good cut off of these and not have to sand it at all, but I'm expecting to have to do a little bit of sanding on each one. Hopefully not too much to get rid of that little spot there or on the other hand I could also just go it's not a big deal it's going to be on the bottom which is what I'll, probably the course I'll take is just sand it to where it sits um, on the ground flat and then go from there so I shouldn't need this sprue but I for some reason I've kept all the sprues so what you see there are there are little dots on the bottom that these are going to push onto. And there's actually some flash on there, I think. Yeah, there's that one's a little Yeah, there's flash on this one. A little bit of flash right there. I gotta trim that out of there. What I'm doing is I'm making sure that it's going to fit before I put it on. And unfortunately, these parts are not cast in a golden colored styrene. Instead, they're painted. So anything you do to them, which is, was my concern on the bottom of the, the feet, 
anything you do to them takes paint off and you, they're visibly um, different. But that one fits there. I'm looking at the feet, I didn't bother to look at the uh, how they looked on the sprues, how they were numbered. Just making sure they're they're all basically the same. But they're slightly they're slightly different on the ends. There's two number twos, two number ones. Just making sure that I've got them all where they should be. This one is not grabbing the way it should, so let's try it down here. Is this going to work? Do we miss there? Don't be me. Should have paid attention to the numbers on it. That one looks like it matches up pretty well. So these two should push on without any problem down here. Okay, got them sorted out. What I'm going to do is get the make sure I'm making sure I don't have one that's already started. Actually, let's get a little bit smaller one. What I do is I take these bubble packs or whatever you want to call them, the plastic that the parts come in. I keep them unless they're really odd shapes. And I put my super glue in them. Speaking of which, where is, there it is. Couldn't see my super glue. This glue is getting pretty long in the tooth. There's not a whole lot left. So, I'm sure you've seen, if you've watched my channel, for any amount of time. I'm sure I'm sure you've seen me do this before. So a little bit of glue. I'm gonna make sure I have it down where that pin goes as well as the edge. Somebody shouting at me that I put the have the wrong these on the wrong end of the bathtub. It's too late now. This one is down. The super glue should be setting up pretty well, pretty quickly. And I just realized I did not sand the nubs off of the feet. So the feet are going to stay with nubs. The bathtub should sit stable with regardless. And if it doesn't, I will sand them on a, I'll use a uh, sanding stick to sand them to where they are flat on the ground completely. Ah, oh, let go of me. Same thing on this end. And I have a, my gut feeling is that they have the numbers actually are different just to make them look different. I don't think there's actually any difference on these. So put this one on here. This one I saw as, as I was putting glue on it has a little bit of flash on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Should be okay. And if you're wondering what I'm using to apply the glue is a needle, a uh, pin vise or yeah, pin vise with a pin in it that the head is cut off of just to dip it in the glue. And there, that's perfect. It sits stable. So there we have bath, the bathtub with the claw feet. And that is all there is to do in this pack. I somehow managed to make a very small pack be uh, worth a full video. And actually, I was about to say the whole thing, blah, 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 you know, like and subscribe and everything else. But I just thought about the fact that I still have to stay in the uh, ceiling. And I'll come back, do about a 30-second second blurb on that and close out the video. So, 
I will end the video here and uh, stitch together the last part later on. Okay, welcome back. You can see that this has been glued and I actually have stained it. I tried some uh, dark mahogany, I think. I don't remember exactly what the stain was, but it was a very dark one and I was like, yeah, not so much. So what I did here was same thing I've done on some other pieces. I took this walnut, thinned it down with water, and then stained it. You can see some spots here where the glue is showing, or glue stopped the uh, stopped the stain from getting through. It's going to be okay because that is actually right where the beams that are going to support the uh, the ceiling are. Did try and fit this on the uh, on the actual floor or on the walls. Going to need to do a little bit of sanding, but it should go on pretty well. You can see actually right there. I see. If, I don't know if you can see that little sliver that there. There you can see that little sliver of wood. That's going to need to be sanded a little or filed a little bit so that it'll <clears throat> so it'll fit on there. But uh, no, it came out really well. Looking forward to working more on this and uh, we'll see how it goes. So if you like this content, like and subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified of Anytime I post a new video, come on over to Hobby Time Modelers on Facebook, YouTube, and Discord. Links will be in the <coughs> excuse me. Links will be in the description. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Have a great day. Have a great day tomorrow. And I will see you on the next video.